Before we talk about image size and resolution in Photoshop, I wanted to talk a little bit about what exactly resolution is. We'll deal with it a lot in this class, and it's very important that you understand what I mean by resolution, specifically PPI, or pixels per inch. Yes, dear. Now, we'll talk throughout the semester that there are three basic types of resolution. There's low resolution, that's 72 pixels per inch. This is typically what you use for anything that is going to be online only. Uh, web pages, for instance. There's medium resolution, which is 150 pixels per inch, uh, which is a very good quality if you're going to be printing off of a desktop printer, whether it's a, a laser printer or an inkjet printer. And then there's high resolution, which is typically 300 PPI, but can go as high as 350. And this is mostly going to be used if you're sending a job out for commercial printing. But what exactly does that PPI mean? I don't know. Well, you know what a pixel is. Yeah. And PPI is very literal, pixels per inch. So if you have a linear inch, if you're looking at low resolution, well, then there will be 72 pixels in a linear inch. Now, that seems pretty small. But the truth is, it's not. That's considered low resolution. Now, the higher the resolution goes, the smaller the pixels get. And the more pixels you have, the more information you capture, and the more detailed your imagery can be. So if you look down to the line below the 72 pixels per inch, you'll see there is an example of 150 pixels per inch. So that's 150 pixels across in a single inch. And you can see that the size of that pixel is about one quarter of the low resolution pixel. So obviously you can capture a lot more information. 300 pixels, same thing again. You can barely kind of see those little squares. Let me just enlarge that so you can see that there are indeed squares squares there. And again, you'll see that, you know, here's the medium res pixels and here's the high res pixels. So much, much smaller, 300 pixels in an inch is tiny. You're cute. So uh, anyway, let's get into Photoshop now and uh, I'll show you how this relates to the images there. So here we are in Photoshop and I have an image opened up and greatly enlarged to the point so that you can see all of the individual pixels in the image. And so you can see these pixels are nothing more but bits of color. Each pixel is a solid color. The pixel next to it is gonna be a slightly different color and value, etc. and you put them all together and you create an image. If you look up here at the ruler at the very top of the screen, you'll see there's a zero and there's the one. And so if you went through and counted all of the pixels between that zero and that one, you would be able to tell what the resolution is for this image. And so you can see that if you had more pixels in there, in other words, a higher resolution, then this image would actually become more detailed because it could capture more information. So I'm gonna zoom out so that you can see what this picture looks like. So I'm gonna go Command Zero, which is Fit in Window and you'll see it's a picture of a sunflower. We were kind of zoomed in on this area down here. And uh, now I wanna find out more information about this image. What is the resolution? How many pixels are in the image? If I print it, what size will it be? Dang. Well, there's a single window that gives you all of this information and allows you to make modifications to those settings. So if you go to the image menu and you pull down to image size, it will bring up this little window here that will give you all of the pertinent information relative to the size of this image. And so if you look at the top, it tells you the memory size it's taking, a 732K. Um, you'll see the pixel dimensions of the image. So this image measures 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Uh, you'll notice that the resolution is listed down here. Resolution 72 pixels per inch. And then right above that, you'll see the physical size of this. Huh? So in other words, if you take this 500 pixel by 500 pixel image and you make the resolution be 72 pixels per inch, well, that means the physical size of this, if you put it into a, say, an Illustrator document and printed it, it would print at about seven inches square. 
So you will come to this window often. Uh, first, to see maybe how big your image is, what the resolution is, and secondly, to change the size of your image. I'll be talking about this window a lot all throughout the semester, uh, but let me just tell you a couple of more things here that will help you understand a little bit better. So if I look up here with the width and the height, you'll see in between those is a little link symbol. And right now that link symbol is turned on. I can tell because it's got a dark gray behind it. If you unclick that, that means those two dimensions are not linked together you're pretty much gonna always want that to be linked because what this means is if you change the width, it will automatically change the height to stay in proportion. Now this is a perfect square, so if I type in a 4.5 inches for the width, you'll see it automatically changes the height to be 4.5 inches as well. This keeps the image in proportion. You're gonna wanna do this. Totally for sure. Uh, the other thing I wanna point out to you is this little box down here called resample. I don't wanna say too much about this right now, but please make sure it's checked because this will allow you to change the size of your image, in other words, the width and the height, separately from the resolution. If you uncheck that, you'll see that all three of these things become linked together which has a very definite purpose, uh, but we'll get to that later on in the semester. So for right now, just kind of make sure this box is checked, that the width and the height are linked together, and then you can go ahead and change your image. So what I would like to do is change the resolution of this to be medium resolution. So you always change your resolution first. So I'm gonna make that 150 pixels per inch. You'll notice that it also changed the number of pixels. So almost doubled in size. Uh, I don't want it to be bigger. I actually want it to be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go in and make the width of this be three inches and that will automatically make the height of this also be three inches. You'll notice that my number of pixels has now reduced to 450 by 450 and that the physical memory of the image has also reduced. So when I click on OK, that will execute the change. So I'm gonna stop right here. We'll be talking about image resolution a lot during the semester. It's pretty easy for us to understand what a pixel is, but often understanding resolution and how it relates to the quality of the images and the type of project you're working on, those can be a little bit more challenging. Uh, but hopefully this gives you a good start.